Growing up, I had two different homes. We went sledding, snow machining in the winter. I mean, we were never inside the house. In Scranton, we'd always go up in the mountains and the hills. I always liked being outdoors by myself. So it just seemed like a natural thing to do is you're right out of college, go pursue your dream, go to Alaska. So I was in Coy and I was playing basketball on a team that her brother-in-law was up and we met at the sister-in-law's house in Nome for dinner and that's the first time we met. Is it true that when you first met me, you fainted? No. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> so we got married in Nome and my mother came up, my father came up, two of my brothers came up. So they got to meet Rose and they just loved Rose to death. You know, I remember telling my mother, don't come to Nome in high heels and a skirt. <laughs> Oh, she gets off the jet oh in high heels and a skirt at 30 below zero with the wind whipping. I do remember it was like, it's two worlds meeting. I remember my mother and Rose's mother having a bit of a conversation. So what you had was two groups of people working and getting along together and we got along great. My family, they're great. I mean, they're really, really accepting. Their thing was they wanted to keep a little bit of tradition to where, you know, there was a lot of hunting and fishing, and which was Mike anyway. Her family, they were just very good people. I always enjoyed being around her family. I mean, um, they were just very nice, very helping, very accepting. It was, um, you know, worked out. It's almost 31 years. I'll never it. It'll be 31 years. Paid for by Alaskans for Dunleavy.